All right, I'm going to tell you why I disagree with Dennis Prager as a conservative. And I was going to make a video about this long ago, and I never got to it. And then he goes to CPAC, and he says what he has to say. So I'm going to get to what my disagreement is, but I'm just going to play this first. So let's, let's listen to what Dennis said, so you know what I'm talking about at CPAC. And then I'm going to play the video that I never got to from Dennis a while back. Here, here, here uh, let's, let's, let's listen to Dennis. And the truth that I want to talk to you about is everything the left touches, it destroys. Okay, he said that in his speech. If we do not know that, we cannot fight properly. That's all what his speech was about. You have to know what is happening, and I make a division between left and liberal. Okay, so he makes a distinction between left and liberal. And, and what he means by that, he doesn't mean, listen to him, you'll see this, it, it's not an individual liberal versus the rest of the left. He thinks that being a liberal and being part of the left are completely different. So he makes a, it, okay, what does he mean by that? Let's, let's listen to what Dennis explain what he means by that. Where, where he goes into his childhood. Oh dear childhood. Oh. Well, what's the difference? And I could give you a speech right now just on the difference between liberal and left. I'm not, but I will give you one. Well, I grew up a liberal. Of course I did. I'm a Jew from New York. I mean, it is in my birth certificate. It's, in fact, that is more fixed than gender. So, <laughs> so I, all right, so, so I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a liberal. Okay, so when I grew up, you must understand this, this strikes people as all, even perhaps many conservatives is unbelievable, but, but I think it's true of most conservatives. I don't know what liberal value I shed, and now I'm considered a major right winger. I really don't know. You, I, I ask people, what? I don't know of any that I abandoned, and now I'm, I'm, I'm a conservative. In other words, conservatives are the people who hold liberal values. <laughs> that is, that is what has happened. No. It has shifted. And we need to protect language in any event. Okay, so Dennis wants to protect language because his argument is he grew up as a liberal. And he grew up thinking that being a liberal was uh, basically the same synonymous with being a good person and holding good values. Dennis, I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy, but you were sold a sack of it. Liberals outwardly hold the same outward values as conservatives do. Everybody's in favor of motherhood, apple pie, uh, releasing slaves, having a better life. Everybody argues for those things, Dennis. Just because someone argues for those outwardly doesn't mean that they actually will take necessary action to make them happen in their hearts. Do you think, Dennis, that conservatives want more slaves? Do you think that conservatives want people to be worse off? I mean, Bernie Sanders, you shouldn't work 40 hours a week and be in poverty. Do you think conservatives want people to work 40 hours a week and be in poverty? You know, of course not. Conservative and liberal, Dennis, are relative terms. They are coterminous. They are synonymous with right and left. Right is conservative. This is my right. But... but they're relative. See, uh, if, if I turn around, now left and right are opposite of what they were before. Here, Dennis, since you're uh, backwards, I'll, I'll do this for you. Right always means conservative. And then left, if I can get my hand over here, means liberal. That's, that's what it's meant in every country. The question is, left and right from what? Left liberal, uh, being liberated, being freed means being freed from the roots you grew up with. It means to change from who you were originally. Conservative means to stay with your roots, to stay with what you were originally. In Russia, being conservative means being communist and being liberal means to follow economic freedom and uh, constitutional government. It means to, to, to be more like America. That's what liberal means in Russia. Now, in America, being liberal means to be more like Russia and to move away from who we are as, as a, a, a nation that's governed by the people. Conservatism in America 
stays with its roots of the northern pilgrims who landed on Plymouth Rock in the north. Plymouth Rock landed on slavery because it was in the south where England was trying to make these new colonies this oppressed imperialistic society. But in the north, the pilgrims wanted for the first time a society where everyone could read and write so that everyone could read the Bible themselves, so that everyone would understand the Bible themselves instead of having government tell them what the Bible meant. Now, right now that creates problems in China, but I'm going to talk about that in other things like my Taiwan special podcast. Liberalism in America has always defended slavery. The South were the liberals. The South were the ones that wanted to change the union into two different countries. The Democrat party was always the party of the KKK that Larry Bird, uh, not Larry Bird, um, Senator Bird. I want to think, was it Robert? I see it. he's old and dead. He, we, we'd probably be over a hundred years old if he were alive today. The current rules of the Senate were actually uh, sponsored, I do believe, by Senator Bird, B-Y-R-D. Bird was a Democrat and a member of the KKK while he was a senator, like not too long ago. It's amazing. Absolutely. During the Clinton years, he was a member of the KKK and a Democrat senator. And so many Democrat voters don't know this. The Democrat Liberal Party has always supported slavery because that would change what the Northern Pilgrims wanted the country to be, a free country based on the Bible. We, after the Pilgrims, Pilgrims were 1600s, 1700s, we had the, uh, we had the Declaration of Independence, all men are created equal. Then about uh, 50, 60 years after that, we had Abraham Lincoln implementing that all men are created equal, Gettysburg Address, Emancipation Proclamation. And so more and more progressively, the Northern Pilgrim Nation stayed by its roots and overcame the South that wanted to change the country from what it was founded as. Dennis, I'm sorry to tell you this, but as a child, you were sold a sack of goods. Liberals only claim outwardly to want these values that you love. Conservatives have always made the same claims, Dennis. The difference between the conservatives and liberals is not the values that they outwardly claim, but that the conservatives are actually willing to take the necessary steps to make those things happen that they claim they want to happen. The left, no, Dennis, it's just propaganda. And you, Dennis, have been sold a sack of it.